Hello, it's Beatrice and today I'm going to talk about how to find accommodation in South Korea, in Seoul specifically, and I'm gonna also tell about my experience and where I lived for my five months in Korea. Let's get started. So, because I was exchange student in Korea, I had this option to stay in the school dormitory and I was supposed to kind of reserve the school dormitory spots through email before arriving to Korea, but I decided not to because I was a bit skeptical of staying in the same room with other people. And um, yeah, I had this criteria that I want to have my own space, I want to have a kitchen and I want to have a window in my place. That was all I wanted. So I thought, okay, of course I can find something like that. But I feel like when you when I got to the country and I felt like pressure finding place it was not so easy to find fast some place especially because it was start of the semester start of the uh, fall semester I think a lot of people were looking for a place to stay I for example contacted one place and when I got there the place was already taken so I think at that point I was left with three options I could move to Airbnb, I could move to shared house with some other people or I could find a place from Goshi Pages. So in Goshi Pages they had like small tiny tiny rooms, I think around 60 square meters, where you have like single bed, shower and small desk and that's exactly how I was living for five months. And yeah, so I had this bed on left side, then I had window which was not too much see-through. Then I had my shower, the desk, some storage space on top of the desk, fridge under my desk, and then way out. <laughs> In the dormitory we shared a common kitchen where we had stove, microwave, and rice boiling machine, also fridge and uh, freezer. And there was actually one good thing, they provided free rice, free kimchi and free noodles so if for some reason you run out of money at some point you can eat kimchi noodles every day and then we also had rooftop uh, in the dormitory but it was in renovation almost the full time which i stayed there i think it was ready only on november and on november it was pretty cold already so i did not use the roof terrace too much so when you're looking for a room in Goshi Pages, you can select the area where you want the room. And I was personally staying in Sodemun, but if I could choose again, I think I would probably choose like close to Hongdae or close to Itaewon or even Gangnam, though those were far from my school. My school was like if this is Seoul, it was like chuk chuk chuk, a bit far away. <laughs> So if I was staying in Gangnam, it would take me around one hour to get to my school. Uh, so the moon was nice, but I think there was not just enough to do. Uh, but at least the city was closed. If you wanted to get to the city, it was like one kilometer, one and a half kilometers walk to get there. The Koshiwon prices were usually around from maybe 400,000 to 600,000 per month. I was personally paying 450,000 per month but I saw the prices went a bit up after I moved in I think it, now it's 500,000 per month and I only had 50,000 deposit though so that's basically nothing it's like 40 euros deposit I think in conclusion it was pretty okay to stay in the Koshiwon for short term I would not stay there if I would be living like year round but sometimes I feel like the room was so small that the air was not changing too much in the room. So, for example, when I went to shower, it became so tropical inside the room. And especially in the winter, I did not want to open the windows because it was so cold. And actually one time, uh, when it was still summer, I saw like one bug, you know, the ones you can see in the bathroom floor sometimes, the ones which like bed places I don't know the name for that but I I'm fine with them in the bathroom but it was running on my bed so I had this bug spray and I sprayed it but I did not realize or <laughs> I was not thinking straight because the room is so small 
So I just started coughing. I almost poisoned myself with the same poison. Uh, so I had to go outside and I stayed outside maybe till 5 a.m. before I came back and I had so bad headache after that. So I think that was also not too good. So if you're staying in that kind of place, I do not suggest to spray any bug sprays inside if you're gonna stay there after that. I actually did visit once the school dormitory because I went to make Christmas food and in my place they did not have oven but in the school dormitory they had like full kitchen and most of the Finnish food, Finnish Christmas food especially are made in the oven so I sneaked in to make my food and I started to feel bad because I wish I would have stayed my whole stay in the dormitory I feel like I was there only two or three hours but more people came to talk to me than ever people have come talk to me in my dormitory I just felt like I could have made so much more friends if I would stayed in that place but it is what it is thank you for watching my short video of finding accommodation in Korea I hope it was helpful and if you have not already I hope you subscribe to my channel and we see you in the next video bye bye